Welcome to D. Howell TV. I'm your host, Daedalus Howell. I thought we'd begin at the end. Not because that sounds kind of pithy, but because the end is nigh. Whatever nigh means. Consider these signs of the apocalypse. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers going on strike in Petaluma. Darth Vader apparently rebuilt by Ewoks in a field in Sonoma. Or this bumper sticker spotted in Grayton. Yes, the world will end in 2012. What do you think, Des? Nah. Like most people with questions regarding the future, I went to the Oracle, Google, and I typed in 2012. If you scroll down a few hundred pages, you'll find this man, Nimron Erez. Director of 2012. No, not that one. The other one. 2012 Science or Superstition. I caught up with him via iChat in Los Angeles. December 21, 2012. The end date of the sophisticated Long Count calendar created by the ancient Maya in Central America. In this film, Leading researchers, writers, and scientists in the field tell us exactly what this date means to them, why it's important, and what we should expect. Just to clarify, you're not Roland Emmerich, clearly. You're Nimrod <laughs> Eric. <laughs> yes. You seem to have the greatest hits of everyone involved with the 2012 phenomena. It seems to me they would be a bit wary uh, for fear that you'd expose them for perhaps taking advantage of the 2012 hysteria. Well, I don't. Um, I don't want to assume what their motives were, um, <laughs> but um, something that may have attracted them is that the film is actually a discussion about the topic rather than shoving down a point of view down somebody's throat. Where do you stand on the issue for 2012? Like, like. Several speakers in the film, I think that our bills will continue to come in the, in the mail in right. 2013. Um, I think that if there is a change, the change is within us as, as persons, in, as, as individuals, rather than, um, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't really subscribe to the, the physical destruction of the world. I actually think that if anything is going to happen, it's going to be um, an emotional development, um, a psychic development of sorts. Um, but, no, wait, wait. Um, now, now, do you think these developments are going to occur because of 2012, or because we'll be so relieved that nothing happened that will have a sort of spiritual enlightenment, a sort of a collective sigh of humanity? I'm going to take the agnostic approach here, <laughs> and I'm going to say that I actually don't know. Every yeah. culture that ever existed has this doomsday scenario. I don't know what it is. It's something about us humans that makes us fear what the unknown, you know, fear what's beyond. Um, or, or embrace it, as the case may be. I mean, the subjects in your film, these guys have re they've made an entire lifestyle out of it. Well, they made, a lot of them made a lifestyle out of warning us about it and how trying to, you know, basically be like, proselytize or preach to us about how we need to change and what we need to do. I, I, I read a really interesting article by a writer named Andy uh, Marantz from uh, New York Magazine. I'm going to read you a quote. This is uh, regarding Pinchback. When I asked the 2012 ologists how they planned to sell books in 2013, Pinchback glanced up from a screen and offered, with a glint of hope, 1984 still sells well. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Um, the only difference is that 1984 is literature and sales as fiction from be to begin with. Right. Um, it's a tough question. I mean, I don't know. Daniel will have to find something, and I'm sure that he will. Um, <laughs> that something is going to come up on the radar. I mean, yeah. I mean, you just you just know it. There's going to be something, you know, something that right now we're not aware of. Or some people are probably dedicated their lives to exploring it, and 
15 years from now, I'm going to do another documentary on that, and we will have this conversation again. Right. You know, and you will ask me the same question. I will tell you 10 years from now, there will be another thing. <laughs> and, 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 and so and so it revolves. Yeah, well, this has been a real pleasure. I'm glad it finally worked yeah. out. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, same here. Thank you so much, Dedalus, for your interest and for your time. And thank, thank you for having me on, and I'm looking forward to seeing you. Likewise, sir. Thank you so much. Talk to you in a bit. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Nimrod Ares' 2012 Science or Superstition is available from iTunes and on DVD from Disinformation at Disinfo.com. Thank you for tuning in to D. Howell TV. You can find me online here. Until next time, I'm Daedalus Howell.